Hey, this boy Tick Wiz. I hope you all are doing well. Stay safe. I know it's been a while since One Plus Eight is out. Still, there are some things you really need to know before jumping into any smartphone. Let it be the One Plus Nord, the iPhone SE, the Pixel 4a. Just wanted to let you know beforehand. I've kind of messed up this video a bit by scripting. So if you feel this video is not as straightforward as my other video, it's due to me mixing my one plus eight thoughts with one plus eight pro. I do hope you enjoy this long video and subscribe to the channel for the next week video on Apple. Here's me mostly telling you why you should consider one plus eight over any of these smartphones. One plus eight is nothing fancy, just the way iPhone SE. So it's a great device for whatever you're getting. Before I go ahead and give you my thoughts, I'll let you know what you get with One Plus Eight. One Plus Eight, six point fifty five fluid AMOLED Full HD ninety hertz, hertz sixty megapixel front punch out, triple lens camera, forty eight prime ISO, sixteen ultra wide, two megapixel macro, Qualcomm Snapdragon eight sixty five with five G, eight GB or twelve GB RAM, LPD. DR X4 storage up to 120 GB to 250 GB UFC 3.0 battery of 3000 mAh with 30 watt rapid charging wired that's what comes with the OnePlus 8 so i'll let you know what i like dislike everything in between at the end of this video here are the OnePlus 8 colors and here are the OnePlus 8 Pro colors To be honest, all of them look really nice. OnePlus 8 Pro might have an old design, yet it looks and feels as new as it gets. I feel the credit should be given to OnePlus for their design language over the years, as they have gotten better than the start. Let's talk about the similarities between OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro. As for the look and feel, I for sure can tell it's a sleek and quite durable one hand, without slipping it out of hand. I say this so as I have used almost all the earlier OnePlus Pro devices for a short period of time. As OnePlus 8 Pro is no different. My only concern is the screen, as that's something I cannot tell much of. But it's, if the screen is anything like the Samsung screen, then I feel the curves are quite good. If not, one might get used to it over a period of time without knowing if it's there. As for the RAM and storage, I feel the base model should be more than enough, as you can down the line. Have expandable storage. As for the software and audio, I feel for most part they are as good as iOS, if not some way better. Battery life on both would be as good as they charge quickly without needing to worry how long it might take the phone to top up from zero to hundred in less than thirty minutes. Also to note, only OnePlus 8 Pro has wireless charging. In my opinion, it's good to have, but not a deal breaker. As for the OnePlus 8 camera, here is what I feel. The hit and miss depend from person to person. I personally would have preferred a portrait mode over a macro. Rest all are fine, as it helps using the right camera mode for whatever shots you are willing to take. Let be portrait or landscape shot. There is a decent amount of camera quality. I can for sure tell the wider shots on the OnePlus 8 and in general would look really nice. Even if you are taking cloud pics or pics during fall, it looks as good as any high-end smartphone. As great shots come with great visuals that capture the essence of life. As for the pricing, at first I felt it was a bit hit and miss in my opinion. The cost for both is more than what it's been over the years, but in some way it's good and bad. But nothing as other smartphone companies these days. But after checking out this video, I feel this OnePlus 8 Pro justifies in every sense. So there are some major cons with OnePlus 8 Pro, which in my Opinion should not have happened at this price point, especially coming from OnePlus. The cons with OnePlus 8 Pro many people are facing after purchasing is screen tint, hole punch banding, black crush, image retention, and more. To get a better idea of what I'm trying to say, check out the above video on the i card or in the description below. Also, to let you know, if you decide on purchasing OnePlus 8 Pro. You can return the product and get a refund or a new OnePlus 8 Pro. The difference between OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro is they have a different screen size, but nothing major. Same with IPX4 waterproof. 
वन प्लस एट हेल्स नाइन्टी हर्ट वेल वन प्लस एट प्रो हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी हर्ट तो बोथ आर नॉट एज द वन फाउंड एन आई पैड प्रो और ऑन गेमिंग फोन दैट कम इन नाइन्टी हर्ट और वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी हर्ट कैमरा ऑन बोथ आर डिफरेंट एज वेल द वे द फंक्शन वन हैज़ ट्रिपल लेंस कैमरा एंड द अदर कॉटको कैमराज बोथ हैव इन बिल्ड टच आई डी विच इन माई ओपिनियन नॉट अ बिग फैन ऑफ इट तो ऑन द साइड नो डू लेट मी नो विच ऑफ दिस यू प्रिफर पंच फोल नॉट और एनी थिंग एज शोन यो बिफोर आई गो हैड एंड गिविंग माई फाइनल थाट्स ऑन वन प्लस एट प्रो आई वुड से वन प्लस एज अ कंपनी ओवर द ईयर हैड हैड इशूज विद सॉफ्टवेयर साइड अ लॉट बट नथिंग लाइक द वन प्लस एट प्रो बट नीद आई फील दिस ऑल कुड बी रिजॉल्व बाय अ सॉफ्टवेयर अपडेट If Apple can fix most of its big and minor issues, then I feel OnePlus as a company can. Now, here's my final thought. It's up to you if you want to get the OnePlus 8 Pro. After whatever I said, if I was in your place, I would have gone with OnePlus 8 Pro as my secondary device. Even if there's any of the above issues, as I feel now, OnePlus might have resolved these issues over a software update. As for the cost, you get more than what you might ask for in a flagship phone. For all round of that's everything you need in a gift. Also, do not forget to check out these two videos. I will subscribe to their channel. Here are my final thoughts on OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro. See if any of these matter to you, as shown here. In my opinion, for most people who are looking for an upgrade from their old phones, I would say OnePlus 8 is a better overall phone for half the cost. I would still not recommend OnePlus 8 Pro, even if some of these might be. What you need in your phone. All I will say is, tech companies should make a move to 90 hertz or 60 hertz. I will try to get 120 hertz on board. Till then, do not forget to subscribe to Politic West. As always, live your dream.